In this video, I wanted to show you guys how you can manipulate some CAD models to delete some surfaces out that, uh, that kind of come to you like this. It's kind of a mess, you know. I look at this file here. They've got a few extra things in there. I don't even know what the heck that is, but this is a casted base for a, um, a chair, and like an office chair. Um, and in the bottom side, we'd put casters. There would be five casters down here that uh, lets you scoot around the floor. But... I surely don't want to measure this stuff here all in the, in the way, so I want to get rid of that. So there's a couple, a couple things I wanted to show you guys here that makes that pretty easy. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the space bar. The space bar just turns my cursor to the selection tool. So if I click one at a time, you see how it kind of clicks these surfaces. So I could go through these surfaces one at a time and click them. Or, here I'll hit the control N a second. Control N does the selection of none. So that's what that is. Notice my cursor is still in the, uh, the selection mode. But now, without hitting any, um, anything on my keyboard, I'm just using my middle button or my roller button on my, um, on my mouse. So I just clicked it down and I'm rolling. You can kind of see I'm making a little polyline there. It's kind of stretching through. And if I let go, look what it's done. It's looking at, at some of these selected features that are together and, uh, and selecting them all at the same time. I'm not sure how they're grouped together or how it's figuring that out. But what's cool is it is not doing anything with this casted base. I've still got this surface up here that's got to go. So I can click that with just the left mouse button. And then I can click this area here with the left mouse button. And again, I'm not touching my keyboard. I'm just punching that. And now that turned red as well. So now I can hit the delete key. And it will get rid of those surfaces. Okay, a couple more up there yet. So I'm just going to, with the, the middle mouse button or that little roller ball, I'm just going to bring it through here. Okay, it grabbed a few more. I'll hit delete there, see what happens. Okay, now I've got a couple stubborn ones in there yet, so I'm going to hit the space bar and just kind of scroll in. Space bar again to select. And there it looks like a surface that stretches all the way down through there. Got a little surface here. Maybe I'll click on, whoop, I don't want that one. That one does not look like it's this little patch. It looks like it's the entire cylindrical feature. Okay, so that's a good thing to show to those. Notice up here on my selection context, I am on the mark um, selection. So I'm just going to deselect or go to toggle. So once I click toggle now, now I can turn these surfaces on and off just by hitting that left mouse key. So now let's go here. There we go. That looks like the surface I'm looking for. A little bit of blue up here. Let's click on that. Now let's hit delete key. Okay, so I'm going to hit the space bar here just so I can zoom out just a little bit. And I've got a couple other little surfaces that have to be cleaned up in there too. It looks like a little, uh, little something down here, a little ring around the rosy there. So there's some, uh, some cleanup I've got to do yet. But super easy way by hitting the space bar to get to your selection tool. And then either left mouse button, you can start clicking in areas. Or if you want, push down the middle mouse button, the roller, and just bring something across like that. And then you can select those, those CAD surfaces that you need to delete.